Yo, what is up, guys? Mr. The Reverts here with another part two of the Pog Champ video that I made. I, I kind of felt the need to, to make this video to add more clarification because um, Twitch removed the Pog Champ emote, but in their tweets that I talked about and discussed in their previous video, um, they really didn't do a good job of fully explaining the message behind the tweets. Um, they pretty much just kind of stated it as to where they removed the Pog Champ emote because. It is something that a lot of, I guess, right-winged leaning people use and use in their protests or I don't even, I don't fucking know what, Twitch has their own crazy ass beliefs. Um, but anyways though, they remove the PogChamp emote only because the creator or I guess the face behind the PogChamp emote, his name is Gutex. He kind of has been going off the wall a little bit during coronavirus. He became very right-winged himself. But he basically made a tweet today at 5.22 p.m. that says, Will there be civil unrest for the woman who was executed inside of the Capitol today? Or will the mega martyr die in vain? The video will be aired soon on band.video and the resistance.video and it sounds pretty gruesome. So Twitch is basically saying that again, the PogChamp face, the person behind the face is encouraging people to be violent today inside of the Capitol and I guess just all over the world. But I mean, to be honest again, first off though, Twitch just completely worded their tweets in a way that was so hard to understand. And now they're gonna have a bunch of people like myself that originally didn't know the reasoning behind the tweets. They're gonna have them very, very upset, but I mean, at the same time too, I still am kind of upset because I don't think this person, I don't think Gutex is inciting violence at all. I think he basically just has a different opinion from Twitch themselves. And Twitch is like, oh, nope, we're gonna ban you because you you don't have the same beliefs as we do. You're you're a Trump supporter, you're, you're on the right. Now, I'm not inciting violence myself. I think everybody that was at the Capitol today, raiding, looting, rioting, what, whatever they're doing, I think is completely unjustified and it definitely does make America look very, very bad. So I 100% I do not support what was going on today um, in the Capitol, but I just don't think the tweet that he's making incites violence at all. But what Twitch is trying to say though is it does and he's trying to get people who are at the Capitol and around the world today to, I guess, avenge her death, defend her honor and just have some meaning and justice behind her death. So I think that's what Twitch was trying to say. But again, by the way they worded their tweets is just completely, I guess vague and misleading are the words that I'm trying to say. Um, but to be honest though, I just don't think this was necessary. The PogChamp emote is a iconic face in the gaming scene and will forever live on as, as that. But Twitch wants to remove that and create something new, something different, which it will never have the same effect. It will never have the same meaning as the PogChamp face. And again, I think the reason why they also wanted to remove it is because the the creator of the face just had a different opinion from them. So, um, but again, guys, please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. I hope I was able to clarify the removal. Um, I did a lot of research too and, and kind of formulated my own opinions and thoughts. I'm very upset, don't get me wrong. I definitely do dislike and I don't think the removal of the pog champ emote was necessary um but apparently twitch does and twitch is kind of like if you don't believe what we believe in and, and you don't have the same beliefs then oh you're against us that's how twitch has always been since i can recall so um these are my thoughts guys please tell me yours down below in the comments i love you guys so so much have a great rest of the day good night see you all later